Hello guys, welcome back. Today is August 11. We're going to do our devotional. The name is Cheap Imitations. That's the title of our devotional. And let me show it to you. Cheap Imitations. Um, and with that, uh, we're going to read from Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 9 through 13. We're going to start with a prayer and then we're going to do our reading. Uh, Father God, we thank you for this wonderful day. Uh, we appreciate everything you do for us, everything you set up for us. And uh, we want to do uh, uh, every day things that pretty much uh, please you. Help us to never uh, leave you, to never uh, step up, uh, step away from your ways and always do the right decision. Help us. We want you right next to us because you want us right next to you. I know you love us because uh, otherwise that we'll, we wouldn't be here. But thank you uh, for that wonderful love through Jesus Christ. I uh, ask you for a special blessings for the boys and girls who are watching this video. Be with them, bless them, fill their heart with a love and their brains with knowledge and uh, uh, wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I ask you these things. Amen and amen. Do our reading. Um, from uh, Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 9 through verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 9 through verse 13 says therefore I bring charges against you again declares the Lord and I will bring charges against your children's children cross over the coast of Cyprus and look send to send together and observe closely see if there has ever been anything like this has a nation ever changed the gods there yet there are no gods at all but my people have exchanged their glorious god for worthless, worthless idols be appealed at these your heavens and shudder with great horror declare, declare the lord my people have committed two sins they have forsaken me the spring of living water and have dug their own cisterns broken cisterns that cannot hold water Today, we're going to talk about cheap imitations. I mean, the things that pretty much look like they are, but they're not. And, and for that, I'm going to put a couple examples. Uh, just imagine, oh, you ever heard about Prada, about Rolex, about Nike or sneakers, you know, the, the, the shoes, um, Levi's, you know, the brand. Uh, and I know pretty much, you pretty sure that you might know there are many counterfeit things that look like Prada looks like Rolex look like uh, Levi's looks like the uh, uh, Nike's but they're not they're cheap but they're not the same with that in mind uh, re remember we read from Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 9 to to verse 13 today is August 11 2020 now let me ask you this what do you think what do you think are the most counterfeit items on the United States? Let me repeat the question. What do you think are the most counterfeit or counterfeited items on the United States? What? Well, according to a 2019 US Today article, the top three categories are clothing, watches or jewelry, and footwear. Interesting, right? And Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13 says, My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and they have dug their own cistern, broker cistern that cannot hold water. So they look like they works, but they're not. Now, in the beginning of this prophecy this, uh, to the southern kingdom of Judah, God reveals to Jeremiah where the nation had gone wrong. God's people had turned their backs to, on him and instead chosen to chase after counterfeits that brought no real hope or lasting satisfaction. Now, many things today are looking for things that will fill their life with hope and purpose. Unfortunately, too many look, for, uh, look to sex, money, power, drugs, and other cheap imitation the world offer. But those things bring only temporary satisfaction and leave them 
even more empty than before. God, the source of living water, is the only one who will satisfy the longing of your heart only through a true personal relationship with Him through His Son, Jesus. Will you find lasting fulfillment in this life? Think about that and answer these two questions. The first one, what are things you have been tempted to try instead of God? What are things you have been tempted to try instead of God? Second question, how can you take steps today to more fully surrender your life to God today? How can you take steps today to more fully surrender your life to God today? Think about those questions. Answer those questions under uh, uh, comments, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. God bless you.